Yep, yep, yeah, me and her are going right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more PayPal. We just uh, went this past Saturday. It was uh, January 9th, 2016. It was me, which you are watching right now, my daughter, my son, and one of his best friends. So uh, basically in this video, what I'm trying to do each video, as you guys can see, I'm already having to swab my barrel. I'm already breaking paint. Um, in this actual gameplay footage, I am using the uh, new HK Army Shocker RSX with the uh, TFX with a Ninja 77-4500 bottle. Uh, my daughter's using her Shocker. Uh, my son is also using his. So here I'm just trying to explain to Brianna because I was listening to her. She was actually kind of uh, shooting pretty fast. I was like, hey, uh, just know you're going against, there are some rentals over there, so just be careful. I'm always just very mindful about people who are renting, um, just not to overshoot them. Well, heck, not to really shoot, overshoot anybody for that matter. So basically here, uh, this match, uh, this video you guys are going to watch and the next video, it's a little slower. Uh, pace up until a uh, um, there's a guy right there that I ended up shooting he was just trying to creep out and then I just saw somebody jump up into that yellow bunker just ahead of me there um, but things were a little slow until a team from Colorado actually came which uh, spiced things up a little bit which was pretty cool so here I'm just kind of one balling um, because as you guys can see I ended up getting that guy out that ran into snake over there um, Brianna ends up getting hit actually here. Uh, but anyways, I'm trying to say is, is I keep kind of one balling because there's a lot of rentals on the other team right now. So I, don't, I really don't shoot really fast when I'm going against rentals. And then here I start to panic because I'm going against Tyler. I'm going against his friend. And there's about two or three other rentals on the team. So what happens here is I'm trying to like keep Tyler and his buddy in place. And that rental that I shot you saw going to Snake didn't call himself out. He's still in there playing, so I was like, all right, so this is gonna be a little difficult. I'm getting pinched in this one bunker right here, and I make a really bad move here. I took a bounce in the back, in the side of the pack there. There's Tyler shooting at me, and his buddy is just to the left of him, and I got two rentals. So here I try shooting out far right to try and get, and realize this bunker's laying down. I end up getting hit. I get hit, 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 and I just, like, literally just kept kind of getting hit over and over again, so. You can see there's Tyler and his buddy right there, and then off to the right, you guys saw the other, like, three rentals that came out of their bunkers here. So, I ended up, uh, the ref ended up actually talking to him because, um, we were having issues this day with people, you know, overshooting and getting overshot, so I ended up talking to him, and he was like, I saw how many times you got hit, so, <laughs> I'm like, you know, it doesn't bother me, but at the same time, you know, people kind of need to learn to calm down a little, especially when it's the rental guys. Plus, you got little guys like this guy right here playing in that little camouflage shirt. You know, you don't want to overshoot them. So here we are, next match. Uh, me and Brianna are doubling up in this bunker here. I didn't have enough room, so I bump over to this little yellow and blue Dorito here. I see people moving up on our left side here. We got a rental guy up into the center bunker there. So what I'm doing is, is I'm just trying to shoot this little gap here. There's a guy that just went to that yellow bunker there. I think I got this guy, we'll see. No, I thought I hit him, but I guess I didn't. So me and him kind of start uh, firing back and forth here. The problem with uh, to the, uh, this particular, you'll see me randomly shooting the ground is because I keep breaking paint. Um, I was using the GOCS1 soft tip bolt, hard tip bolt. Um, I even turned the SFR down. I just broke another ball and I was still breaking paint. So now I'm using the shocker and now I'm breaking paint again. So, um, it was pretty horrid. It took me about two hours to clean all my gun and my gear and stuff when I got home because of how much pain I was breaking. So now I've got about two people on the right side. I ended up getting that right guy in the corner out, as you can see there. I'm trying to shoot this guy. I see his hopper sticking up, but the pain is like I can't get a straight shot. And I think I ended up getting his gun right there, and he finally calls himself out. No, I'm still, I'm hitting his gun, but he's not calling himself out. So I don't know if he thinks gun hits don't count because it's not really him. That's another problem with some of the rentals is they don't always understand the, uh, the rules. There he is. Now he calls himself out. My son is right there, by the way. Watch this. 
boom, I pop out and end up getting my son. I snapshot him and shot him. Like, I was so, like, I didn't think I got him. And then I see him walking out right here, and I was like, wow. I can't believe I snapped out and shot my son. Like, I was actually pretty proud about that one. But I was shooting that right corner because I wasn't sure if there was anybody there. And then I see somebody right in the left corner right there. And I notice, after I heard him shoot at me, I heard it was a rental. So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to run up on this guy or get really too much closer. So I'm just kind of one balling at him because I know he's hiding back there. So I'm just kind of toying with him. and hope, I was hoping this rental guy would run up on him. I was even telling him, hey, there's only one guy left. And he really didn't do anything, so... I'm squeegeeing my gun again because I broke yet another ball. He's in that back left corner. Yep. See, he even asked me, is he the only one? I'm like, yep. And he still kind of stands there. So I'm watching him and I'm like, all right, this is going to take forever. <laughs> so I ended up moving up along the right side here and ended up shooting him out. Because so I'm like, all right, this guy's not moving. So I move up to here and then I pop out and then I end up... Uh, Giving him a double tap right there. Right there on his foot. He's gone. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to get him on his foot, but I just couldn't get a straight shot. There I am shaking my head because I'm just covered in paint. Um, middle. Okay, then I'll take this right corner then. All right, our next match, you can see uh, my son, he tried to go left and then had to stop and I just broke another ball and then he had a dodge. You can see my son right there in the open. You can see the orange cleats, but I just broke a ball and I cannot shoot straight for the life of me, so I couldn't get the shot off on my son there. And that would have been a good shot to get to get him out of there quick and I broke another ball. One of the refs ended up uh, coming over and he was so cool about it. He ended up uh, giving me like his own personal high-end paint Which I thought was like super super awesome of him He felt so bad for me that he gave me his own personal paint because I was breaking balls so bad So I wished I knew his name, but uh, I think his name is James actually in the sunset But he's actually a ref at the field. So if you're watching this uh, Thank you again, man. It really means a lot that uh, you would do that for me and now here you can see me I'm trying to shoot at this guy in snake, but my paint is breaking so bad and the balls are swinging everywhere any other day of the week, if I had straight shooting paint, look at his hopper just sitting out in the open. I am just trying to just one shot and just hit his hopper. I'm wasting so much paint, but at this point, it's like I don't even care anymore. I'm just, there we go. I finally hit his hopper on that one, then he pops up on the top, and then I hit his gun again, so he's calling himself out. At least I think he is. Yeah, there he goes. He's standing up and leaving. And there was another guy back there that I didn't see. And this guy about trips and falls right in front of me and he ends up getting shot. No, he didn't. He actually ducked down in this bunker in front of me. There was another guy in that back left corner, but like I said, my paint is so bad. So my biggest worry is about breaking this much paint is I'm worried my balls are gonna like swerve and hit people, so. Cause they are swinging. Watch right here. See how I'm shooting sh right there? And then you'll start seeing it hit in certain corners in the back like where I'm not even aiming. That's the bad thing about breaking paint is you break one ball and it gets everywhere. The rest of them just shoot like garbage. And I'm trying to squeeze in my barrel again. And then you got this little guy that just moved up in front of me in the camouflage gear. Really cool kid, man. He comes out every Saturday and we get to play together. He's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun to get out there and play with. But yeah, there's about three or four of us left. I'm hanging out back here because it's just a rental left and there's a couple of little kids on the right, so I'm just gonna let them take it, so. But any rate, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed another paintball video. We'll see you next time.